Okay, I'm going to try to attempt to pull out my VIA SS vehicle speed sensor. I'm going to show you where it is. I don't know if you can see down there or not. It's down below my dipstick. Here's a plug right here. Right there is where it plugs in at. And there is uh, like the middle section right there. And on farther back there, you can see there's got like a metal casing over it. I'm trying to put my flashlight on it the best that I can. It's kind of hidden. I think there's like an eight millimeter bolt right there that's like it over the, the casing. It's covering the, or the cover that's uh, holding it right there trying to get a better look right there but it's uh, on the transmission okay and the plug is let me come on down here okay the plug is right there I don't know if you can see it or not but if you get the part first make sure you got the right part and uh, it's about a 10 millimeter about a 10 minute job to do this I'm gonna try to get it out I did this because it's, it's dark, it's at night, and uh, you can see it better with the flashlight. Um, you can see it better with the flashlight during, instead of during the day. But that's the plug right there. Here's the middle part right there. Got my flashlight right on it. And the case is right up there. You can just reach your hand down in there. See right there where the eight millimeter bolt goes right there with the case. Can barely see it but it's down there you can reach your hand down there and get it and probably uh, just wiggle the sensor straight out so uh, I'm gonna try to reach down here and get it out so uh, I have to put the camera down and uh, to get to it okay here's my part right here sensor I got it at O'Reilly's it was like $38 okay here's the tools you'll need the 8 millimeter socket with the extension I got two of them and you probably need one of these just in case you drop the 8 millimeter bolt but you want to be on the safe side so I got this okay Go ahead and open this up. Okay. This is the sensor right here I'm trying to put it back in focus here hitting the wrong button okay this is the pigtail where it plugs in at right there and just a little middle section right here this just plugs in and this is the sensor right here and uh, this you just push this down in the hole and it snaps in there like it's got an o-ring in it and it does right here that's what holds it in there and this is where the 8 millimeter bolt goes in it's got a casing that's over it and uh, I've already looked uh, this part right here it's closer to the transmission dipstick. It kind of goes like that. Snaps in. The pigtail snaps in. And uh, this just goes up under the casing. So it shouldn't take but about 10 minutes. I got to put the camera down in order to install it. Shouldn't take that long. Okay, the air filter right here. Might be a good idea to 
pulled this out of the way so I have more room to work. So I get my, my arm down in there. Try to zoom in on it. Pretty easy. You have to really zoom in on it in order to uh, see it down there and get a flashlight. Let's see if I can do that. See right there. There's the pigtail right there. And it attaches right there, farther out. So the pigtail is this on this side, right under the transmission dipstick, right down there. And here's the part right there. And here's the middle section right there. I don't know if you can see that or not. But I don't have my flashlight. But all you do is just reach down there and unbolt the 8mm bolt and uh, just pull it right out. Okay, I'm having to take a flathead screwdriver and remove this right here so I can move this whole unit out of the way. I done pulled the hoses off, so got one right here and one right here. It'll make it easier for me to get down there and uh, have them move it with my arm. Okay, I done pulled this over to the side right here. That's all you need to do. And, uh, you got my room down there to work. Okay, I done pulled the part out. And I'm just matching them up to make sure that they are the same part. You see that? These two right here, the sensors look the same. And uh, back here, it looks the same. So I just want to make sure that uh, when you put this on, you got the correct part. So this one matches up just fine. Okay, another thing about this is that this cover looks like goes over it like that. Kind of slides up under it like that sideways and uh, it covers it and the bolt goes in the hole like that and uh, since it comes out through the back slot right there so I'm trying to line it up so it goes kind of like that and it lines up in a hole like that Okay, I got everything back together here. I got this little clip here. I didn't need this one. I just decided to use that with the one that was on there. But uh, it didn't take me too long. This is the eight millimeter socket that I used. And the ratchet, that's a quarter inch ratchet. Pretty easy to install. Uh, it's an eight millimeter bolt. Took me about 15 minutes to do it, so I'm gonna start it up and see what it do.